Welcome to the Games Freezer. Evening all. I thought I'd just do a, little bit of a really sneaky quick room tour just to so you get the idea of the layout. Let me turn on another light, see if that helps things. Start here in the hallway. Um, yeah, so this is, we had a bit of overspill. We tried to keep it all in the bedroom, but here we've got um, a couple of things. We've got the Maximum Carnage box set behind there. Um, an old, we've got a few of these. These old sort of, um, sort of Pong Cons was from the 70s. I had this um, email off a bloke a few months, well, about a few years ago, and he said, oh, I've, I'd swap you a Sega Saturn and one game and one pad for my grandfather's entire Pong collection. He had about 30 consoles, so I said, yes. And we've got loads of those now, good. Bought another Sega Saturn, obviously. There's the Talk Boy from uh, Home Alone 2, uh, Phase Game Boy box. You can, you'll see the first of many barcode battlers. This is um, handhelds and more Phase Forte, so apologies for the light, I didn't really plan this too much ahead. There's a lot of um, Kirby Star Wars, a few of the... Uh, she's kept a lot of the Game Boy Colors because they're actually the ones from which, so... Uh, the gaming mug there, there's another... I think that's from a film as well. Basically, the sort of uh, a talk watch as opposed to a talk boy. It's a bit dark, so right under there, there's loads of um, Game Gear games and then loads of uh, Game Boy games there. Game Gear box ones, they're, they're in really good condition, weirdly. We only pick them up at um, various sort of places for a few quid, but they're all. If you see them in a box, they tend to be in really good condition. Almost like they cap and no one played them. Uh, there's, oh, there's a VHS of uh, Mario. The Young Ones on Commodore 64, it's a baffling game. And then. Uh, Boxed Game Boy there, and of course, not one but two, two boxed Game Coms. One of Faye's favourites, uh, Batman, obviously. Ooh. 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 What a game! And then, oh, these are all my. I'm a subscriber to Viz and have been for a long time. I spend most of my time recently because we've got an, another. Is it, you'll see a few of these, another sort of old Pong console, and this, this GX4000. Um, well, not the greatest home console. It is it's one we picked up at a really good price. Um, boxed, still in the cellophane and stuff, and with all the polystyrene inside, from uh, a place we go to uh, in Somerset. And he gave us a really good deal on that, and we bought a few other things from him. There's an Atari Lynx, another, yes, another Pong console with a light gun, which I haven't used yet. Gotta get a CRT. And this is a bit of a. The boxed ones are a bit of a mishmash of sort of. Uh, Amiga and PC. There's a Atari cartridge there, wasn't it? Never ended story. We've got um, somewhere, can't see it now. We've got Labyrinth as well on the Commodore 64. Cruiser of Corpse, Secret of Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2. I've got four copies of that, you never know. F19 Stealth Fighter, that's called A Train. Sign with the Source, one of my favourite games on the Amiga. PC game called The Devil Inside, and then um, Hero Quest and the expansion Return of the Witch Lord on the Commodore 64. We kind of put out the front. We change it around a little bit, but just sort of um, games that we fancy at the time. Like at the moment, Faye's going through a bit of a Jeff Minter phase, so we've got a few of his up there. Curse of Sherwood as well, which was one of the first games I ever played as a kid, alongside, there it is, Formula One Simulator. Yeah, I'm going to guess that the frame rate on this game is going to be low. A few other bits and pieces, seventh guess on the CDI, obviously. I ordered the book, and the CDI game turned up, not a problem with that. There's a sneaky Commodore. <laughs> TV modulator, we've got about three of those. And then this is where it kind of goes down to Spectrum, Amstrad, and um, some other box games, another copy of F-19 Stealth Fighter, um, Monkey Island and Crystal Dragon. And then down there we've got, a load, it's getting really dark now, apologies, a load of retro gamers, and uh, Brutal Sports Football, a few other classics, and some Amiga games down there. And then this is the main room. So I'll try and, it's a bit brighter in here, which is good. So we've got, they picked that up in a charity shop for like four quid, quite cool. Lara Croft in a wetsuit. I'm sure no 14 year old boys typed that into Google uh, 20 years ago. That's our Lavania box set. And a few of, again, the handhelds that Faye really likes, the specials. Um, in the quiz games at the moment, and Faye is massively into the arcade Frick Machine Simulator. She's addicted to that, good. Of course, it doesn't cost me money, so that's fine. Typical colourful game from the uh, early 90s. This is the Amiga. We've got, weirdly, this is the oldest one we've got. This is the one with a red power light. and. It's from, I think it's 1987, we've got, we did have an Amiga 1200, another Amiga 500 with a green power light, a later model, and a 500 plus, and they've all stopped working. Sink or swim out in the corridor, I don't know if you saw it, I put it in and it completely ruined one of the disk drives, so I need to get those fixed. Seek WWF in the ring, obviously. We're getting a CRT, this is a temporary measure. And then down here we've got a GameCube, a load of um, uh, Amiga discs, and I think there's a Notorious T ones in there. Here's two down the bottom, it's all 
a bit ramshackle because we're sort of severed. Links, oh, this game. Oh, luckily it's backwards compatible with the 360. I, I do like golf games, and this one is a gem. It's really arcadey, really, really fluid graphics. Really tasty, been playing that a lot. Wii U down there, have some good times with that. Uh, I'll cut the Mega Drive, which probably gets the most use. Snes and Nez, Saturn. My brother recently, oh, bless him. As a moving in gift to our new place, he bought me Shining Force 3, which, as you know, it's very expensive. So I'm um, playing that at the moment, but I'm playing it quite slowly and taking my time to appreciate it. We had the snares me out last night. We played a bit of um, a bit of Mario last night, a bit of casual Mario. And there's a flash of the crystal maze box. See, at the top, we've got a load of, I'm not going to go through it all, but a load of Pong consoles. It's switched somewhat, someone, this Spectrum Plus 2 action pack. And a boxed Mega Drive 2 and like a, a whole, uh, well, in fact, this box here, which is like a cassette holder made out like an old TV. Someone was just chucking them in a bin uh, and made a joke on Facebook, you know, you know, this was my child, it shame to see it go. And I ran over there and said, I'll have them. So he said, he was really weird about it. He was like, oh, I don't mind throwing them in the bin. You don't have to take them. And I said, no, it's not a problem at all, my boy. Well, there's um, something my parents brought back, a uh, Pokemon keyboard for the, I think it's for the DS uh, from Spain. Two things up here, another barcode battler, obviously. F bought Fay the Menacer for Christmas, so we've got to use that on the CRT that's going to turn up. Sonic Pinball. Tony Hawk ride. Oh, I've had some good times with that gun. Actual recoil action, that's what you need. My brother gave me that full up bobblehead, good. This is the, this is kind of what we're really about is the Mega Drive games. There's a few of those. That's me and Chris from last year in the um, Game Blast for special effect, which we'll be doing again this year. Big up to Game Blast. Alien 3 joystick. So these are all in alphabetical order, which is good. And the rest of the Mega Drive games are over here. And then you've got PS1 stuff going down to the PSP. We try to keep it all kind of together. Some uh, Atari stuff there. And unboxed ones there. I tend to find those mostly unboxed, you know, that's cool. A lot of PS yeah, stuff down there. Going along to the, what is it, 360, Master System, NES, box there, yeah, which is cool. Little, little GameCube collection. And this, my, I haven't got many games, well, we haven't got many games, but I do, the ones we've got for the Saturn I really like. Really like Need for Speed, Athlete Kane's classic. Exhumed. The, the guy handles like a boat, he doesn't care. Or more GameCube, more than I thought. And then up to the top, bit of Dreamcast action, and the wing. So yeah, it was just to sort of show you how we roll, really. Um, that's it. Cheers. Until next time, stay frosty, freezer followers.